What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life. And right now, I'm down here in Baja, Mexico. Today, we headed south and actually found a route that heads up through the mountains, through this awesome cactus and all this interesting vegetation and terrain. I expect it to be about a 10 to 15 mile overland route. It goes between highway number five and highway number one. Turns out, this was actually part of the Baja 1000 race course that we were a part of last year. So I expect that it will be rough and rugged. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the adventure. Let's do this. Okay, well we got ourselves into a bit of an interesting predicament here. Okay, straighten up. Okay, hard. Yeah. Had to do a little bit of rock crawling with a sprinter van now. By no means are these vans made to be rock crawling. And having these uh, BFG KO2 tires aired down, I've got them down to about 20 in the front, about 30 in the back, and that is actually uh, allowing us to have traction to crawl through these rocks. So BFG tires are coming in clutch on this situation for sure. this let this be a prime example of the kind of terrain that we're going through right now this appears to be a drive line off of a uh, race truck that's a big drive line too completely split in half every Baja race truck that races the Baja 1000 or the 500 or the 400 they all carry spare drive lines on board with them for these scenarios exactly. So a race truck would have been passing through here sometime in the Baja 1000, broke a drive line, did a fuel repair on it, and kept on going to finish the race. 
Pretty crazy to see that out here in the middle of nowhere though. That's the kind of terrain that we're dealing with right now. Just creeping, crawling in the sprinter van, getting our way through it. This stuff is no joke out here. Welcome to Baja, that's for sure. Flip this one over once. I tell you what, this damn sprinter continues to blow me away. There's no way in hell that a big, huge cargo van uh, should be this far into this trail. It's champed it 100% all the way through, literally rock crawling. This stuff out here is no joke. We've probably spent the last hour and a half creeping and crawling our way through the bottom of this wash. Very, very slowly having to get out and move rocks by hand, fill in holes. And the crawl and the climb is very, very technical, working the sprinter van in and out of these very tight areas. So this is some true four-wheeling out here. It's certainly not what these vans were designed for, but we're out here pushing the limits of it and seeing what's uh, possible with these things. So I can certainly guarantee you there's nobody else out there doing uh, what we're doing with the Sprinter van here today, that's for sure. The terrain is beautiful. We're out here in this crazy cactus forest and there's just all sorts of interesting plant life stuff that you don't see in other parts of the world for sure so that's uh, also a treat to, to be experiencing out here on the trail. Dude, I don't think there's any freaking way. There's no way. Uh oh, you got one? Oh, oh dude. In the back of my leg. Mother Ow. I just got out of the fucking van. That hurts. You ready? You're not gonna be able to, dude. Oh. Ah! Oh, you got it. Oh, fuck. That fucking hurt. This right here might be the gatekeeper for the rest of the trail. We've uh, made it about halfway through, and we realize that uh, there's an entire mountain that we can see where the trail actually switchbacks all the way to the top. We're just getting to the bottom in this first hill. I think this is going to be the gatekeeper. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it up this. We're gonna scope it out on foot, see what it's all about. Put it in four wheel drive, L Dad. This might be against my better judgment, but we're out here to try things and see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna see how far the van will get under its own power. So we're just gonna do a little experimenting here and see what we can uh, make happen.
first we tried to see what it would do with the van just under its own power. It got maybe about halfway, which is not bad, uh, but that's not even into the bad spot. There was a large tree up at the top that we thought maybe we could winch from, but before we got ourselves into that situation, we decided to hook a strap up to this guy right here at the bottom and tug against it just to see how stable those particular trees are and we found that it's actually quite flimsy. We're gonna go ahead and use our better judgment on this one and opt out of it. We're going to head back out the way we came, which is unfortunate. Really was excited to accomplish our goal of getting over this trail and to the other side, but it's just not, not a good situation to get ourselves into. So we're gonna turn around, make our way out of here and go find the next spot. Let's go ahead and stop this edit here for just a moment and talk about the scenario that we're seeing the Sprinter in right now. Now, for those of you that watched the very last video on the channel, you are probably wondering right about now how that ARB air locker is performing in the Sprinter van while it's out here deep in the backcountry of Baja, Mexico. Truth be told, this video was actually filmed prior to Agile Off-Road installing that ARB air locker into the Sprinter van. But this is actually the perfect scenario where that air locker would have performed beautifully. Here in just a moment, we're gonna see the front tire of the Sprinter van come up off the ground and we're seeing that tire spin. That's exactly the scenario that is the challenge for the Sprinter vans. They don't have much flex when it comes to off-road, so you end up lifting up that wheel and you lose traction. And that is exactly where that air locker actually comes nicely into play. But for this video, we gotta watch the Sprinter van fumble its way through with the factory traction control. And you'll probably notice each time the wheel comes up off the ground, you see it locking up, and then it transfers power back over to the tire that actually has traction. And that's just the factory traction control working on the Sprinter van. With that being said, let's jump back to the edit, see what unfolds here on the Sprinter van. I think that was the last obstacle that gets us down and out of this wild and crazy trail. Just as we turned around at that gatekeeper of a hill, a whole bunch of motorcycles came down from the direction that we were headed. They thought we were pretty crazy for even attempting to head up in there. Their report on the trail was that it was extremely gnarly. And if a bunch of motorcycle guys are saying that, then we know it's definitely way too gnarly for the Sprinter van. So we certainly made the best decision in turning around and getting back down out of there. So from here, we're gonna go scope out some more terrain down here in Baja and see what it has to offer. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's up guys, this is Chad with Living the Van Life, but you guys already knew that because you are actually here watching Chad with Living the Van Life on the Living the Van Life YouTube channel. But I wanted to pause this video right here and remind you guys to get on over to the Living the Van Life website at www.livingthevanlife.com. Pick yourself up a hat, LTVL. Pick yourself up a hoodie, LTVL. Or what about a t-shirt, LTVL. We've got stickers like what about this cool Vanagon sticker? The classic Vanagon. Been a part of the channel for how long now? The Overland sticker, LTVL. What you guys are gonna see here in this video is actually this right here, which is a cool 2022 Baja commemorative sticker. We're plastering these things all over Mexico because that's just part of the culture. Stickers, we're putting them on signs, windows, doors, Whatever you can find that's got stickers on it. It's just part of what goes on down here in Baja. So guys, livingthevanlife.com. Go on over and get yourself some swag. Because like I like to say, don't be a fool. Be cool. Livingthevanlife.com. Let's get back to the video. This is gonna be home for the evening. Got a beautiful spot out here on the beach here at Bahia de Los Angeles, which is the Bay of LA. We've got a fire built and gonna cook some adobada tacos over the open fire and enjoy just an evening of van life down here in Baja, Mexico.
What do you think? This right here, guys, is what Mexico is all about with some Autobata tacos cooked directly over the open flame here on the beach. Bahia de Los Angeles. Mm. Actually bought this Autobata meat from one of the local markets there in San Felipe, and we're enjoying the heck out of it right now. This is our little taco building station that we've got here. And this is how we do it. Some autobata meat, delicious, right over the open flame. Take some avocado. Put it on there just like that. A little bit of hot sauce here. Three dribbles, top it off with some mozzarella cheese. <clears throat> That's it right there. Cheers to Mexico and cheers to Baja. So freaking delicious. And of course, to top it all off and wash a good Baja taco down, of course you need a fine margarita made with tequila right here in Mexico. <sighs> so much for that margarita. This cool little boot actually comes from a little hometown tavern back up in Washington called The Cabin. Turns out it's actually our favorite spot to go get a margarita and a boot. I figured to be able to enjoy margaritas out on the road, might as well purchase myself one of those boots from The Cabin Tavern. So. Cheers to the Cabin Tavern up in Washington. Man, I tell you what, coming into Mexicali and down into San Felipe, I'm like, man, that does not look like Baja. Yeah, it's not quite what you expect when you no, think of no, Baja. No, not really, right? man. You hear all the stories, friends come down here and do all this stuff, and like, what the heck? Well, I think it's definitely been one of those things that you learn to appreciate when people describe paradise. It's you got a certain picture in your head. And I feel like Baja is definitely a different kind of paradise that you got to learn to appreciate. I mean, you just got to find your zone. Yeah. Really. Like today alone, I feel like we're driven to about two dozen different microclimates yeah. of the desert. Yeah. Dude, the, the variance in vegetation. Like we're not that far south of the United States and there's vegetation here that is nowhere close to what we have back home. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it blew my mind, honestly. Like, south of San Felipe, things started changing perspective and became Baja. Yeah. You just gotta find a section of Baja that suits your personality. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah. You know, rolling down into uh, Bay of LA here. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm pretty content. Yeah. <laughs> When that sun came down, the colors hit the sky. I mean, damn. Yeah. Today's trek through the Baja 1000 course and experiencing that, that was unreal. It just, for me, it put into 100% complete perspective of what those vehicles go through, whether you have a thousand horsepower, 
trophy truck. Or a class 11 buggy. Yeah. AKA VW bug. Volkswagen bug with stock everything pretty much. Yeah, that, that was insane. Mind over matter plus machine. Yeah. You know, it's just like, All right, guys, I'd say this wraps up this here living the van life adventure. It's been a great evening chilling out here on the Bay of LA. The moon is going down over the mountains. The coyotes are howling off in the distance. And we're sitting here on the beach enjoying our fire. A great night with some good tacos. From here, we're just going to kick back and relax and enjoy some van life. Hope you guys join us on the next couple of episodes as we continue this journey through Baja, Mexico. If you guys have made it this far into the video and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button. And if you do, don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that's what's going to notify you anytime videos like this are uploaded. Most importantly, leave your comment in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and make sure and share this video with anybody that you feel might be interested in watching these types of videos as well. Also, don't forget to go on over to the Living the Van Life website at www.livingthevanlife.com. All right, guys, we're out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking. <laughs>